Mortgage rates recently hit their lowest point in a year. Things were trending in a good direction. And then the Fed cut rates and mortgage rates actually just went up. It may seem confusing, but if you look at the economic data, what's happening does make sense. First up, what actually happened at the Fed? Well, they cut the federal funds rate 25 basis points. That just means 0.25%. This is no surprise. This is what everyone was expecting. That is one of the funny things that happens with these Fed meetings is that people watch this so carefully that the banks and people who create mortgage rates or other kinds of loans are planning ahead for what they think the Fed is going to do. They don't wait for that actual decision to come. You would think oh, the Fed did what they said they were going to do, mortgage rates shouldn't really move in any particular direction, but they went up. They were getting close to 6.1%. As of today, they're about six and a quarter. So they went up was mostly because of what Jerome Powell said during his press conference. He cast some doubt on something that the industry felt was a foregone conclusion. And that sort of changed sentiment and pushed bond yields back up. And that's why mortgage rates went back up. Well, the Fed's job, as we talk about a lot on the show, is two-sided. They are responsible for maintaining price stability, and they are also responsible for maximizing employment. But right now, we're sort of in this unique time where both of those things are uncertain. We don't know if inflation's under control. We don't know if the labor market is getting out of control. Currently, they think that the labor market breaking is the bigger problem. That's why they're cutting rates. But he's saying inflation actually might get worse. And in that case, they're not going to cut rates. We want to know not just where the federal funds rate is going. We want to know where mortgage rates are going. Mortgage rates do not follow what the federal funds rate does. Federal funds controls what is called the short end of the curve. This is short-term lending costs. Long-term lending costs, like mortgages, are broadly influenced by the same things that the Federal Reserve is thinking about. Inflation, recession risk, there's a lot more other variables, but those are two of the main ones that they're looking at. And what the Fed does and what bond investors do are not necessarily always the same thing. So that's what I want to talk about more in this episode because we want to know not just where the federal funds rate is going. We want to know where mortgage rates are going. Mortgage rates do not follow what the federal funds rate does. Federal funds controls what is called the short end of the curve. The only way mortgage rates are really going to go down is if unemployment goes back up. Not a great situation. And so I really just hope that this is just another data point in your mind that perhaps you should stop waiting for rates to go down. That's what we've been talking about all year. Just underwrite your deals with the way rates are today.